The people of the Omar Hills definitely need help. Just like the people of Trade Meat did. However, I'm a little more concerned about these people in the village of Inness Vale. Because whatever's doing it is straight up murdering people. They are attacking the people directly in their homes. Many murders have taken place, and the bodies are then taken the next night. It does sound something like what a bunch of fearful and ignorant people might make up. Yes, farmers, villagers, the old stereotype. But in this case, it seems to be real. Then you have the usual problems with people. Love, or wants, and desires. Unfulfilled for some reason. Yes, we can help all these people. I don't even expect to get paid for it, but I do think that we should inquire with the mayor of the village before we go off to fight whatever evil is attacking people in their homes. He may know something that he was afraid to speak of to the villagers, or have a clue that could help us find out what is going on. But so far, it seems pretty clear that we need to go and see the local ranger's home to see if the little girl was correct. She said she thinks Morella, the ranger, is dead, killed by one of the wolves. We also cannot forget to look for Valgar Kurthala while here. This wouldn't be that bad of a place to hide from the cowed wizards, until the wolves get you, of course. So we have three bastard swords to go by. Where is the mayor's place, by the way? It will be done. Yeah, their home is supposed to be right nearby. Is this it? Well, it's certainly someone's home. Let's go in and see. Yeah, that's the people I saw. Certainly. Hello. Um, hello. I don't recognize you. You must be new to Imnis Vale. Is there something I can help you with? <laughs> Actually, I spoke to a boy by the name Delon in Athkatla. He said you were in need of assistance. You did. Then the boy did get to the city after all. I am pleased to hear it. You you have come to our aid, then, yes? I would like to know more about what is going on here first. Hmm. Yes, of course. It's a gruesome business. I'm sure that little Delon told you some of the story, but I should elaborate on it for your benefit. We've had a run of killings and disappearances here as of late. People murdered in their beds. Their bodies disappearing. Bodies found with the skins inside out. Normally we would turn to our local ranger protector to aid us in a time like this, but our ranger Morella has vanished. Several men went to her cabin southwest of the village, and they found no sign of her. It is not like to her to be absent for so long. I... I fear the worst. Soon after, shepherds and farmers from the outlying holds began disappearing. People heard strange noises at night, and we have no ranger to turn to. Everyone's frightened. But they're scared to leave as well. Else they get caught out in the wilderness by whatever has been doing the killing. And of course, everyone has ideas on what's behind all this. It's the ogres, my husband. You know it is. Um, <clears throat> my wife, Aina. And, yes, many people think that it's that group of ogres who moved into the area just before the killings began. Likely is, too. They're in the hills, too close to the village, I say. Yes, you can find them in the hills a bit north of here. Of course, others think it's a pack of very large wolves that's been ranging the hills for some years. As to others claim Umar herself, the great witch of the hills has returned. Legend has it she was responsible for deaths much like these ones. Fah, that's just old legends. Umar has been gone for over 500 years, my husband. Yes, true. I suppose I should warn you. I've already hired a famous knight. Mazzy Fenton and her troop, but they haven't been back. If wolves were shadows and doing this, they'd have to be terribly evil. Dire wolves, perhaps. I, I don't think ogres would do this, but I'm not sure. This all sounds quite ominous. To be honest, I think you should check on the ogres and their fellows before chasing after legends and such. So, will you? Will you help us? Uh, what kind of reward are you offering for this? Herm, well, my village is in dire need. I'll tell you what. If you end the murders, I will give you the armor that belonged to our first ranger protector. Oh, another ranger armor? That actually sounds good. That was my ancestor, and I've kept it. I'm told it's wrapped up with strong protective magics. I'd be happy to offer it, and some gold, to save my village. Very well, I'll help you if I can. 
Oh, most excellent. Please, my lady, go to Morella's cabin and find where she's gone. My men are too frightened to go that far from the village. Her cabin is west from the village, in the valley. It... it should not be hard to find. There are other, older cabins in the hills, abandoned for many years. Or go north from here to this river and find that Madolf and his beasts. I have little doubt that they are responsible for all this, but we must be sure. I am relieved you have decided to help us. You have the run of the village, my lady. If you need anything else, do not hesitate to come to me. Yes, without doubt. Well, that sounds fine. Ranger armor would be great. I have armor of the Deep Knight. Yes. Uh, it's just enchanted with... Um, uh, I don't even know if it's really enchanted. It's just really well constructed. Yeah, I don't know if it's enchanted, but... Anyways, it would be nice to compare it to other armor. Especially Quickly that another precisely. ranger was using. Hello. You look like a good enough I beg sword. of you, Melody, please help us. Find out what is killing everyone and put an end to it. Yeah, I will. Without hesitation. What is it? This will not take long. Okay, so... There's some ogres to the north that we should go see. We should also go to the inn, or by the inn, see if they sell bastard swords for those young men, teenagers. I forget which who sold bastards, who sold weapons or anything, but... Uh, let's see what you have, please. Always willing to satisfy a customer, with gold, that is. Bastard swords, you have three, just what I need. Oh. Okay. Okay, thank you. These boys will be happy. It is a nice place. This is exactly the kind of place that I would want to come and live live by. If I have my own ranger done. cabin out here. Hello again. So, have you got our stuff? Yes, I got your swords here. Our swords! Wow, you're the best, ma'am. I want my sword now. I want to hold it. Let's go for adventure. Yeah, I hope they don't get themselves killed. They'll come back to haunt me. It was at Orin. Orin of Kanto Keep they give us the bastard sword. It will be done. Yeah, well, just go play with it and pretend that they're real swords. Bastard swords would be heavy for young men to wield. Where are these ogres? Supposedly to the north? Oh, there's more people here. Hello. Well met and welcome. Is there something you'd be needing, milady? Um... What can you tell me about all these murders? We fled all the death and murderers, me and my Erlen. Tis no longer safe out in the farms, but I know nothing else about it. Okay. Well met and welcome. Why do you have all your chickens here with you? Why not? We can't leave the farm to rot completely. We have to eat, eh, milady? Okay. Hello. I've no time for to talk to you now. We're just good folk fled from the outer farmland, stranger. We ask nothing of ye other than ye leaves us be. Why? What can you tell me about the murders here? I can tell you nothing. We're just frightened and wants nothing but to go home again. Just leave us be, milady. Okay, so you just brought all your chickens along with you, I see. Tis none of your concern, milady. They're nothing but chickens for eating, is all. Okay, so let's go find these ogres we keep talking about. Across the stream. They keep saying to the north of the village. This is pretty thick bush. Oh, what's that? It's a knoll. A minotaur? 
Is that not an ogre mage? Is an ogre and an orc? It's strange that they're all Certainly. together like this. Uh, hello. Hold! Use not of human village. Why you come? What you's wanting? Uh, who are you and what are you doing here? Me, Madolf, lead fellows from great army of Scythalus in the south. No want to kill races no more. Lead fellows in desertion. We just want to be left alone. What about what I've heard about your fellows being responsible for killing people in Imnesvale? We no kill humans in village. We no want trouble with yous. How do I know you're telling the truth? Always Madolf and fellows be chased and hated, cause me an ogre. We just wants to be left alone. We come here one moon ago, tries to settle for a while, yes? Soon after we come, fellows begin to vanish. One, two, they go. Some turn up killed, skin missing. Some bodies vanish too. Madolf no know who's killing us. Madolf worried. Numbers get smaller. We like here. But something bad is here, too. Killing us, fellows. Very bad. Something's killing your people, too. What do you think it is? Madoff no knows. Maybe wolves. Maybe bad magics. Nobody sees what kills fellows. Come at night, though. Maybe is the shadows. I see. So your band is no better off than the village. I'll be going, then. Wait. You not attack us. We needs you bring word to human village. Humans run when Madoff goes, so me need yous to do it for me. Yous bring word, yes? What kind of word do you want me to bring to them? Madoff no want death. Madoff no want fight. Just want peace. You tell villagers, maybe, that Madoff and fellas will protect village. Protect from orcs and mountains, yes? Humans let us stay then, and no call knights. Maybe let us come? Once in a moon, to trade for food and goods. Madoff make deal with village. If you tell them, we no want trouble. Alright, I'll tell the mayor what you said, but I can't promise anything. Madoff happy. Maybe Madoff. Maybe fellows can live alone and eat good. Be happy here. You do good thing. Maybe humans agree. Madoff keep deal. You tell them. Okay. Speak. I will tell the mayor of Emnesvale. I suppose if they're being honest, but they are kind of... They're goblinoids, aren't they? All of them. Well, not the knoll. And they're not known for keeping their word. They're actually known for being quite cruel and hostile. Especially to um, the demi-humans. Humans and demi-humans. I wonder what the mayor say about this. Direct me as you will. I have some news for you. Yes, my lady. Is there is there something you need? I have spoken to the ogre Madolf, and I do not believe he nor his followers are responsible for Emnes Vale's problem. W what? But but I was sure that those monsters were the killers. What makes you so certain that they are not? Madolf had his own people go missing, much the same as yours. He is as worried as you are. Oh. Well, that isn't good news at all. If ogres can be worried, what should we be? Actually, Madoff sent me with a proposition. He and his people will provide protection for the village in exchange for peaceful relations and a bit of trade. He... he has? I... I must say, that might not be such a bad idea. If this ogre can be... can be trusted, that is. Thank you for bringing this to my attention, my lady. I will have to go and talk to them, I suppose. We could both benefit from this. Since since the ogres are no longer a possibility, all I can suggest is you go to Morella's cabin. There must be some evidence of what happened to her. Okay, yeah. Seems like a logical place to go. It will be done. So Is it this way? I don't know if I can get through down here. Evening's coming on. It is the evening, I should say. 
It's gonna get dark real soon, and if there's shadows, shadow wolves or whatever they are, we might be running it right into them. Okay, well, we should be able to cross here. Yeah, over the rocks. Yeah, so this is a very beautiful place. This is exactly where I'd want to live. Although it didn't do Morella very good if she's dead. Where is her hut? Her house. Must be over this way. It's at the southwest, right? Oh, there it is. Oh, this feels very cold in here. Um. Not that I think there will be, but you want to check for traps or something? I can dance on the head of a pin as well. Certainly. Okay, there's a body here. Ugh. It looks as if a violent struggle has taken place here. Someone was killed and dragged out of the cabin. There are a few footprints in the blood. They appear to be dog or wolf prints. Okay, so it's... A lot of blood. No body. What's this on the floor? A note from Mazzy Fenton. Walag, we travel this day to search out the wolf lair. My own scouting of the region has confirmed Morella's suspicions that there is a large pack of wolves acting in this area. On the map included, I have indicated where I believe the wolf den to be located. Follow us if you can, but be cautious. We can ill afford another mysterious disappearance. Until we meet again. Mazzy. On the same sheet is drawn a crude but effective map which indicates the path to a forested area several hours north of the Imnus Vale region. Okay, that helps. So Mazzy came here and saw this, I take Without it. Without doubt. I don't think there's going to be any traps here. Well, I don't think she'll be able, be able to use anything here either, so I don't mind taking this. I think she's dead. If not, I'm sure she won't mind us taking some arrows or whatever we come across here as a bastard sword. To go help her. It says, Morales Journal. Well, that could help. I skip many of the entries of times and places far removed from our current worries. Flame Rule 7. Catchy came to visit again. A sweet child, eager to learn my ways with the wild creatures. That was the little girl that said she saw her... Um, some kind of big shadow wolf-like creature with blood trailing from it, leaving this home. Flame Rule 12. Dark creatures roam the forest. Several townspeople have been slain by some unknown predator. Everyone seems to have their own opinion of what is doing the killing. The strangest thing is that the bodies are disappearing in the morning. This leaves me baffled, for most signs point to a pack of wolves that have been in the area for a long time. Wolves don't steal bodies. Next day, Flame Rule 13. Or perhaps I should say wolf-like creatures. At night, while I've been patrolling, I've often caught shadowy glimpses of these wolves running alongside me. I've tried to attract their attention, but they ignore me. I find this most strange, as if the pack is being controlled by someone else. Years ago, I spoke with the pack leaders and they were cordial. Now they either flee from me or, and I fear to say this, they stalk me. A week later, over a week later, Flame Roll 21, it is near noon time, and still the wood outside my cabin seems full of shadows. I've been hard-pressed to hear birds, and most of the larger animals have long fled. I plan to find the wolves' den this afternoon. I've drawn a map to it. All signs point to them as being the culprits. But what wolves act like these? They are wolves with the cunning of men. And there's something else. A whispering in my mind. There are far better things to do than sit and wait. <laughs> it is faint now and in the waking hours but while i sleep i dream only of this voice and the face behind it whether it is connected to the voices i do not know i suspect by the time that the sun sets tonight i'll have answers to my questions this is our last entry 
quickly and precisely. Bastard sword. Well, I can't identify it. Yes, without hesitation. Bolts, which I could trade. As you will. Just give it to him. My honor is I my catch you just openly showing his feelings for me. My love, I am and will remain your most faithful and devoted servant. <laughs> this will not take long. Of course, Sagantus, as I you. Well, that's everything that we can see in here. Unless she has something hidden. But I'm not if about to tear her done. house apart. Um, it would be nice to live here, actually. It would be very nice. Beautiful place. So, let's identify this bastard sword. Targarath the Bloodbrand? Dungeon delving Leorgan was lucky indeed to discover this Hauruian blade in the ruins of the ancient sorcerer Cullen's haunt, for it would save his life that very day. The ghost of Cullen himself attacked the intruder, but the flames that followed only singed ab absorbed into the glowing Bloodbrand. Concealing himself, Leorgan watched in amazement as the ancient sorcerer tried to divine his location, and again the sword protected him. Surviving this brush with death, the young man used his second chance and the gold from selling the blade to, as he put it, get the hell out of adventuring. Well, this actually is not a bad weapon. Makes you a non-detectable from detect visibility or scrying. Um, and fire resistance. Good fire resistance. And I'm actually proficient in bastard sword, but... Mm. What is, what is he using? Condor. That's just good against shapeshifters. Yeah, this is actually... Oh, I forgot that my sword, Paradon, uh, makes me immune to fear. And it also regenerates. Hmm. Varscona, a Jatha drinker. Yeah, I've got a lot of swords on me. Immunity to charm and domination spells, and with this one, f immunity to fear. So if I put these weapons on, I'm, that's actually really good against vampire, just not against their draining touch. But, let's see, Bolt of Lightning, let's give that to Ajantus. I think Ajantus could use this. It would be very effective against, say, dragons. Well, fire resistance, 50%. Maybe against mages as well. Okay, well, we'll keep on exploring. I don't know about being out here at, at night, but... We face much worse than these wolves, I'm sure of it. It will be done. We'd like to talk to you if you have the time, Agentus. The gem bag is really beautiful, Agentus. A very noble gift. Thank you. Your words please me, beloved. And because you now have enough space to stow things in, I do not need to feel guilty if I give you further jewelry. If our obligations permit, of course. What do you want to know? Nothing special, Jantus. You look thoughtful. Is everything alright? Yes, love. Just think about our plans for the day. Or for the night. Okay, well, it would seem that we'd have to go north up here. Oh, what's this? Are these what is attacking people? Shadows. My weapon no does use. nothing. Kind of look like wolves. I use my swords. I don't really want to use up my um. You will fall <laughs> by my hand. Actually, you're not supposed to have arrows with this bow. <laughs> ah, neat bow. <laughs> Oh, my hand. Of course, guess who's getting hit? Just like old times. Ouch. 
I don't think these are these are not wolves, these are just regular shadows. The bear just killed I don't know what that was. A rabbit? Certainly. Looks like Rasad has learned a few new tricks since I last met him. Direct me as you will. Well, we're looking for where Valgar Corthala lives. It should be somewhere nearby. It lives in Imnisvale, rather. Is it called the Umar Hills where it was listed? Either way, it should be close. Oh, here's Madolf again. That was strange. Well, I can tell him what we found, what the mayor said, so since we're here already. You business, you speak to Madolf. Madolf leads us away from Sisthilis. Oh, yeah. It will be done. This is Madolf. It is good to see again, Elf. You bring word to Human Village, yes? Yes, I have. Has Minister Lloyd not arrived yet? Huh? Human lord is a coming? No, no coming yet. That Madoff is pleased that you did what you say. Madoff thanks you. You're welcome. Certainly. Oh, there's gold across there. For some reason. What is it? I have no idea where we will find mimic blood either. For that wizard. Well, where it is to go to where that wolf den is is quite far from here. It's nowhere near in this. Well, it's nowhere near where we are here. I think we need to go to the other side. Without doubt. Let's try to get back over here. Get on these rocks and cross the water. Quickly and precisely. Oh, this looks like a cave right here. I wonder what's inside there. I don't think the wolves are here. They're too far away. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.